Hello, Cancer Man, Quantel Pro. Hello, Tinker Tots. I'll go ahead and I'll pause that because this is a video that you've uploaded. No tin foil hat for me, Cancer Man, Quantel Pro. Oh yeah, you uh, sounds like you got a rip off of uh, System of a Down there on your channel too. Mm hmm. Yeah. Copyright? Oh well, that's all right. I don't flag. Here we go. I wanted to show you guys this. It's a comment that you post on that video. And to be honest with you, I don't watch your videos anymore, Tinker Tots, because you really just did the same meaningless nonsense over and over again. But I wanted to show this. Yes, and it materializes before us. Please make sure that it is actual Cancer Man Cointel Pro at 321 Elm Place in Henderson, Kentucky. I will watch to see if people really know where this fruitcake is. Uh, really know this fruitcake's address. Okay, here we go. Please make sure it is the actual Cancer Man Cointel Pros. You might want to put uh, apostrophe and an S at that. And uh, 321. You want to capitalize Elm. You want to capitalize P. You got the Henderson in Kentucky right. Okay. I will watch to see if people really do know this fruitcake's address. All right. <laughs> This fruitcake knows yours. <laughs> now, Tinker Tots. You know, I'm not interested in your address. You know that, right? I could care less who you are or where you live. I just wanted to give a little bit back to you for a specific reason. And I'll show you that reason here in a second. Just bear with me. Patience is a virtue. Okay. Good things come to those who wait. <laughs> Got your rebuttal to my blog TV invites. Where you say that oh, I'm just going to pull your IP address and get your address. Well, I already know that, so I'm not sure what else. <coughs> yeah. Hmm. Oh, wow. Did you take it down, Tinker Tots? Did you take it down? Oh, we'll check, we'll check another page of yours. We, we, we will. Oh, absolutely. Uh, let's look at dark, moronic, 101. I can't believe you would allow it to simply go away. You getting nervous, Tinker Tots? You're not very good at the dox dropping game, is it? Huh? Are you? No. Huh? That is the dark moronic page. This is it. There's the title of it. Hello, Cancer Man Corn I'm coming on right now to base. Here's what we're going to do we're going to actually go in. this comment here. Wow, not even with docs dropping will you get more than 30 views. Fail. <laughs> but we're going we're gonna to go ahead and we're going to skip forward a little bit because uh, this is just KDA, uh, this is a video that I did that you ripped off of me. Here we go. You see this? 3, 2, 1. Elm Street, or Elm Place, 
Actually, it's 321 South Elm Place, Henderson, Kentucky. And you got pictures of this house. This is some really bizarre stalky behavior, Tinker Tot. Look at you trying to zoom in in the windows and trying to look in the windows. You're like some sort of a creepy peeping Tom. Using, <laughs> using Google Maps to try to peep in people's windows. Now, Tinker Tots. This, and only this, is the reason why I was even the slightest bit interested in your address. And of course I could find it. You know how I, I could find it? It's very simple. It's very easy. You got Facebook shit all over. Dean Roger Ray, Tesla Coils 2001. You got your address in this stuff. Are you kidding me? I didn't drop your docs, Tinker Tots. You dropped your own. Technically, I didn't drop George Bush pimp stocks. He dropped his own. He had a link to his Facebook on his YouTube page. So really, as far as dropping docs, you know, I don't know that I ever really have. Forrest Jameson's docs, they were already out there too. Everybody already knew who he was. Now, which is exactly what you've done. What you've done is you've taken someone else's information that they dropped as part of a joke. <laughs> and you think that's me. And of course, now you're backpedaling. <laughs> now you want my real address. Well, guess what, Tinker Tots? You're not going to get it. You know why? You know why, Tinker Tots? Because I don't have a Facebook, Tinker Tots. I'm not on MySpace, Tinker Tots. My Skype name is false. You know, several months ago, about six months ago, I would go into Von Helton's blog TV and I would talk to them on Skype. Yes, I would talk to him and I would talk to M4 Shadow. Um, and uh, who was the other one? Devil something, demon something, I can't remember. Anyway, I had a setup that was just flawless. It was wonderful. And do you know that if you had tried to trace my IP through Skype, it would have actually led you to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania? That's how I know people aren't hacking. Because if they did, they'd be saying I live in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Which I don't. And people will send me PM saying, oh, well, this person thinks they know where you live, and they'll drop a, an address or a state or something. And I'll come back and feed more disinformation. I'll say, oh, yeah, it's true. Or I'll say, oh, no, it's not, depending on however I feel at the time. You know Tinker Tots? The best way for you to, if someone claims that they have your docs and they have a picture on Google Maps of your home and it is really your home, one of the best things that you could do is set up a fake account and go out and take photographs or something like that of another home. possibly and photos of a street sign three states away and upload that on a sock account attacking yourself dropping your docs just saying <laughs> it's something that you could do just saying it's possible Trust me. So why are you so interested in where I live, Tinker Tots? Really, why are you so interested in where I live? Are you going to come and see me? Hmm? Do you want to come and see me, Tinker Tots? 
I mean, if you want to see me, I mean, I'm sure we could arrange that somehow. Although, <laughs> actually, no, I can't do that to you. I can't do that to you. Because you know what I would do? If if you said, I want to I wanna meet you, you son of a bitch, I'd be like, yeah, okay, okay. Name a time and place, all right? Get you a plane ticket. Go to Seattle, Washington. And we'll meet at the base of the Space Needle at noon on whatever date. And we'll go up and, and, and we'll have a cup of coffee or something. And I just wouldn't show up. <laughs> I wouldn't. And and it'd be really funny if you did. <laughs> it's a joke. You're a joke. Don't you get it? The joke's on you, son. Don't don't you get it yet? And the reason why I don't like you is because you're a maniac. There's something seriously wrong with you. Your tinfoil hat video. Oh, your tinfoil hat video. Tinker, I can honestly tell you, if you really believe that under every rock and around every corner, is the NWO coming to take you away? Don't you think that a multinational consortium, a global consortium, with that much power would not be able to stomp on you like an ant? I mean, come on, Tinker Tot, for Christ's sakes. They could make it look like suicide. People would believe it because you're unstable. We can see that you're unstable. The New World Order, or whatever it is you claim, is out to get you, I can tell you. They're not. Because if they were, you would know. You wouldn't be on YouTube, that's for sure. You'd be running for your life. And not very long, because those men are trained for that sort of business, and they are trained well. If you're being chased, you'd be killed. That's a fact. 100%. Have you ever met anybody that was in Special Forces? You know, Tinker Tot, I watched a man who was a Ranger, not even technically Special Forces, who was a Ranger in Vietnam, okay, in his late 50s. I saw him climb a telephone pole with no assistance from any type of equipment at all. Climbed it like a monkey. And he wasn't even special forces. He was just an airborne ranger. And they're nasty enough, I can tell you that. <laughs> you, you, you see somebody with a ranger sticker in their window, you might not want to fuck with that individual. But... <laughs> Because I can honestly tell you, they will tear you to pieces. But, yeah, Tinkers, they're not going to attack your cat. They're going to attack you. So stop trying to say that what happened to your cat was Freemason gang stalkers. We all know that it's, that it's made up. That it's a story. Okay? And it's insulting to everyone's intelligence. Everyone who watches any of your videos, when you say that to anyone... You're insulting their intelligence because you're not saying that you're smart or that it happened. You're basically telling them, when you tell that story, you're telling the person who you're having a conversation with that they're stupid. That you think that they're stupid. In a round and about way. It's insulting. Come clean about what you did to the cat. Maybe we'll have some respect for you. Cancer Man Cointel Pro out.